Hiya. Well, here we are, off for our little walk. Uh, we put this up, that's to stop the other two little ones running out. So, come on then, Skyler, you ready? You ready to go? Hey? Come on. There you go. Good girl, off we go. Well, it's a little bit nippy, but you know, you've got to go. Good girl. She loves her morning walks. Yeah. Yeah, still a bit cold. Over to the lamppost. Funny, aren't they? They've got regular stops. I have actually, yes, um, tonight, be doing a podcast, it'll be around quarter to eight, eight o'clock, um, give Jane, who's my guest, time to have a tea and settle down with her caramel. Um, she's got some interesting little bits to tell you tonight. Just experiences, general experiences of, of owners with uh, dogs in wheelchairs and particularly her dog is a double amputee like Skylar. So um, we're getting on great here because we're passing tips to each other. Uh, she's relatively new, but she's really got into it. You know, she, she's becoming an old hand at this. Come on then. Should we go? Oh, this is the thing, you see. But they do enjoy it. As I've said before, it's great for their mindset and psychological well-being. Come on then, we'll have to try it. Come on. <laughs> yes, so I hope you can tune in tonight. Uh, as I say, about round about quarter to eight. Jane's very interesting. Um, she's she's a she's a never give her upper. That's what she is. She tried uh, all of her, all of her diapers with caramel. Um, everything in the book. She's still at it, but um, she'll get there. If not, I think she'll have to have stone flooring all throughout, which is what we've done. Come on then. Come on, girl. You come in. Come on then. Let's go. Good girl. Yes, she's got some pretty good ideas um, for caramel. And it, she'll tell you tonight anyway, all the trials and everything she's tried. So I'll leave it to her to talk to you tonight. I'll just introduce her and off she'll go. Um, if you watched our other ones, yeah, I had a few technical hitches, but you do get this with YouTube. You know, it's never sometimes perfect, but that's all part of being a YouTuber because you expect these things. So what you have to do is, when it happens, is uh, just carry on, keep smiling, and uh, try and get out of it, really. So I'm hoping tonight it won't happen. But I said that last time, and it did. Yeah, but we had a storm. Yeah, the storm didn't help. When you get a storm, it messes with your Wi-Fi. And of course, Jane's in Cornwall. They don't get a very good signal down there. Where we are, we're about like, what? A third of a mile from the, from the Wi-Fi unit. So we get a pretty good one. So we're going to try again tonight. And keep on trying till we get it right. Um... We've been in touch with another owner in America. I don't know how it will work in America. If you think too, yeah, we'll go this way today. See, she's so used to going one certain way. This is what you get. But she'll come in a minute. That's it. 
There you go. Good girl. Another post coming up. Yeah. She hasn't been this way for a bit. So there's going to be some new smells for her. No. Nah. Makes you laugh, doesn't it? I mean, we can't see anything. But she knows. And sometimes she'll walk past. And then all of a sudden, big pull on your lead and she's gone back. Because she nearly missed something. There you are, another one here. Oh, wow. This is what it's like all the way round. Being a dog owner, you'll know that. Why do you use the lead, G? So it don't get caught on the lamppost? Yeah, well, if you just let her go off on her own, you've got to watch it, especially round here. Because uh, what happens, as you can see, if we pan over there, you've got all of the bushes and everything, shrubs. There's a brook down there, which you can't see at the moment. So if she sees a bird or a squirrel, if she's not on the lead, she'll go straight through there. She could end up in the brook. So you've got to be very careful at the moment. And a, a leg and a wheel will get caught on the lamppost. On the lamppost, yeah. And of course, what get, then? she can tip. She could tip. I mean, thankfully, we learnt with Chica. So Skylar has never actually tipped yet. So we'll touch wood. If I, can, if I can find some. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful about this. Any obstacles. And if the wheel gets caught, you, you could go over and you don't want that. But, you know, it's it's a, it, it can happen. And um, it's just one of the things that you've got to watch out for. If it does happen, don't panic. Because... Um, Most, I mean, it's not gonna really hurt hurt your dog if they just tipped over to the side. But um, you know, you just got to keep your eye out for it. She does like to go on her own all the time. When we're near a road, obviously, we're never ever gonna let her off. Got to be safe. Another post coming up. There you go. So actually a 15 minute walk could turn into over half an hour. <laughs> See? This is what you get. Maybe you do want to sort of get a move on, but you know, don't do it. Let let her sniff. Let him sniff. Sniff away. Hello, trolley dog. <laughs> hello, hey, hello. Trolley dog. That's a new one, a trolley dog. <laughs> uh, hey? Wait. Oh, she's having a sniff. Yeah. Trolley dog. <laughs> to remember that one. Come on then. Come on, girl. No, no, she's a double amputee. Oh, right. Yeah. Hey? She's a double amputee from Thailand. Hey, hello. She's a good girl. She's a good girl, aren't you? <laughs> hey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she loves people. Oh, no. She's got a disability. She's... Oh, she's happy. 
Happy enough, isn't Happy she? and healthy. Hey? Yeah. She's happy enough. Loves a fuss. Come on then, let's go, us we never get home. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh. Well, that was nice for her. Had a good old fuss then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Skylar adores people. She really does. She's standing me fussed all day long, wouldn't you? Hey? I mean, like I've said this before, for a street dog, she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. You come in. Come in. Come on then. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, when we get round the corner, away from the road, I'll let her go and you'll see. She well knows her way home, don't you? She goes home on her own. Stops on the way and has a little sniff, but again, a couple of last sniffs before she goes in. Straight up, straight round to the house. Didn't ya? Clever. Clever girl. Just get past the cars, as I say. Don't let her off while there's obstacles. Oh, she stops here often and then has a look on here. I don't know why. Very inquisitive, curious, aren't you? and the brook, and the trees. That's what she's looking at. Come on then. Come on then. Come on, Skylar, let's go. There you are, let's go up here. That's easier. Oh yeah, if you're going up a curb, Obviously, some of them are quite high. She can go up on a wheelchair. Just watch if they're high. Because again, if she goes at an angle, they can tip. Good girl, come on in. Come on in. Oh. Come on in. Yeah, I'll let her go on her own now. She knows the way. Good girl, go on then. Go on. Oh yes, look. See, these wheelchairs, they make them so independent. And they even take the cell phone. So as you can see, even though she's lost her back legs, she's having the time of her life. It doesn't stop her at all. She can do anything except jump to fence, jump a fence, which she did before. So if anybody's worried out there about her welfare, being a double amputee, they are look. Right into the house. Go on then. 
We're coming. Go on in then. Good girl, go in then. Come on then. <laughs> what a dog. Aye. What a dog. Well, I'll call it uh, quits for now. Don't forget what I said, please. Round about quarter to eight. Tune in tonight. Meet up with Jane if you haven't seen her before. Uh, listen to what she's got to say because she's got some good stuff to say. Some really good, interesting tips. So, bye for now. Don't forget. Like. Thumbs up. Share. And definitely... Get your finger and smash the subscribe button for us.